All right, so let's go build a shockwave air spring. Uh, we make the parts, the aluminum parts, right over here in our own machines, right behind the camera here. And we make these out of all uh, 6061T6 billet aluminum. So when we get those done, we bring them over here. We get the rubber from Firestone with our nice little logo put on it and everything. We put the cap on the rubber and slide the crimp ring on it. And then we put the piston on it with another crimp ring. And get that baby in there like that. You can tell I do this a lot every day. And then we put this whole assembly in the crimping machine right over here. And we push the button and then it comes out to be a completed assembly. Swedges the crimp ring on there so nothing comes apart. And then to test how good that crimp is, we take it over to the test pressure testing machine and one out of every hundred that we build, we burst, we blow up until it, you know, it busts. And it usually takes between six and seven hundred PSI to do that. So consider the fact that these things normally run at below 100 PSI working pressure. That's like a six to seven times safety factor on this thing. So now we can go check out how we blow one up. Uh, you guys good? Yep. We got our guesses going? Yeah, they're Anywhere from 12 to 100. Wow, look at it. 200. 400. 